Dun, 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 dun. Once again, I've already done this video once and I'm doing it again. Now with dark and light. It's like a Batman film. Hey, I'm Bruce Wayne, I missed the However that works. I haven't seen them all normally, you know. Someone's got to save the planet. Might as well be man with his underpants on top of his tights in a bat mask. Ask no questions, hey. How are you? Anyway, I didn't say that at first, did I? My apologies. How rude of me. Good evening. How are you? Robbo Lands Vids. Rob, Rob Wheatley, that's me. This place is Disgrace Lands. The music I do goes under the name Robbo Land, hence Robbo Lands Vids, because I couldn't have Robbo Land as a name on YouTube. And that's awesome. Dave McCallum, the Invisible Pineapple. Dave, 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 Dave McCallum, the Invisible Pineapple. I'm working on a theme tune for him. Uh, I know that's absolute cobblers, that one, but it's, it's the only one he likes. So, uh, I wanted a surfing theme. He wants more of a death pineapple metal, he calls it. There's no such thing, you tit. But, uh, you know, each to their own. Hey. Anyway, there he is, for all you fans of him. How you doing, Dave? Let's ask him a question. How you doing, Dave? Anyway, I've been away for a bit. Uh, didn't get a bit, so I come back again. And um, nothing, you know, just a bit of a head depression thing, a uh, little blip, the thing, so there you go. But um, that just sort of tends to trash creativity and things like that and the, the urge to do anything particularly creative as far as I'm concerned, as far as it affects me. Um, wasn't a particularly big bad dip, but just the, the way we sort of followed is just sort of uh, for a bit. But anyway, it's all a good laugh. <laughs> well, it obviously is. <laughs> they'd call it a good laugh instead of depression. But, uh, you know. I'm sure we all know someone who is or isn't, and I'm, I'm sure we know people with depression as well, so each to their own. People can't stop inviting me down the pub at the moment. Down the pub, down the pub, Robbo, come down the pub. And you know what? I can't stop saying yes. I've tried and I've failed miserably. I tried really hard just not to say, no, I can't go down a pub tonight because I haven't got any money and I'm agoraphobic and it freaks me, you know, head out. But I went down a pub and it was good fun. One of my old buddies, Steve Foster Pilkington, was playing uh, a couple of tunes down at the open mic night. And Steve FP is a brilliant, brilliant guitar player, great songwriter. Wonderful person, him and his wife Katie, lovely people, they came over and um, yeah, if it's uh, <laughs> there's a big sign at the top of our town at the moment which basically says road closed and it isn't entirely closed but it's just putting lots of people off from, from trying to get in here at the moment, it's just a bit of a diversion but uh, they have to do that for um, insurance purposes and health and safety. And so tonight, I think there's a big accident on the road where the diversion led to. So that's worked. Good. Job well done. Have a, have a gold star. Why that say that? Is that picky? Incorrect. I don't know. I don't know what it means. Anyway. So at this gig, and he, he ends his set, he gets called up to do a few more numbers and... Uh, he ends up with a country waltz version on acoustic guitar and him singing of the buzzcocks ever falling in love with someone he shouldn't have fallen in love with. And then he calls his wife Katie up uh, to sing and she's actually like a proper, proper packer opera singer, trained proper, you know, singer. And they did like a Gilbert and Sullivan song to a Bob Marley 
style rhythm that he was playing on his guitar. Absolutely bloody amazing. It was great. And then uh, he mixed up um, something with Ring of Fire and he, everyone was singing the horn section parts to Ring of Fire and that was cool as well. So great fun. I got to the open mic night for the first time. I've been trying to get to that for, for years and years. Thank you to Steve FP and for Katie for dragging me out down there. Awesome stuff. <laughs> video I think I bunged up was basically an F and a G and this one's an F a G and this one <laughs> I keep doing that I'd rather be going do 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 what I'm doing perhaps I can combine them both fantastic point at things that are worth pointing at this is worth pointing at anyway uh, yeah I had some old school buddies of mine uh, come over the other week. Um, the three of us haven't been together in the same place for uh, how many years? Since probably the late 1980s, early 90s, something like that. And um, it was great. Someone actually, you know, collapsed half in the toilet, half on the floor outside the toilet. They were fine. They were just. They said they were. They were actually comfortable lying face down on a stone cold floor. Literally a stone floor, and it was cold. So literally a stone cold floor. And uh, they, they did seem quite happy, um, but apart from the fact that they were blocking the toilet and, and the kitchen, which is where the beer was kept. And the extensive Disgraced Lands wine cellar that lies beyond. In them dungeons. Them dungeons. So, um, but she was fine. Coke's drawn on the sofa, sofa, much more comfortable. No, the sofa, no, the floor's fine, no, the floor's fine, no, the sofa's better. So it was better because I can reach my beer. And uh, we all had a great time. It was fantastic. Uh, we all woke up the next day and uh, everyone got home. So, uh, you know, I was already at home. I, don't have anywhere. I, I was around a cafe actually around the corner. I got home from there. I, I think I did quite well, considering. <laughs> we were a mess. And then, Another old buddy gave us a shout uh, on Friday and uh, went out and had a couple of bevies for lunch. And then Saturday night, one of my favourite people on the planet gave us a shout. And we went out and had a, had a few beers and uh, my other mates as well and we came back here, the three of us, and just played some music and had a hilarious, hilarious time of it. Great fun. So tonight I was just going to crash out and I was actually asleep when the phone rang and um, it's the back phone that sits here. So I, I thought I'd better run in and answer it after an hour. I hadn't been ringing for an hour obviously because I obviously could have answered it. <laughs> Come here and <laughs> kick the shit out of back. But came and asked it. This buddy of mine just needed a bit of uh, um, cheering up. Had a bit of a bad day. A bit of a bad time. People are in his brains at the moment. So. <laughs> So, had a chat with him for about 10 15 minutes. We all ended up having a right good laugh. And then I looked at the email and someone said, I'm playing down the pub tonight. You fancy coming down? And so I did. And then tomorrow, tomorrow, which is Tuesday, which is actually now because it's 12.46 of the AM thing here in England, which is where really disgrace that. Well, this, at the moment, we're floating over England. You can see how there's black sky. We actually, wait, let's just see, look. Uh, uh, crap, I'm weightless, you see. Obviously, I'm just used to it. Everything's held down with Velcro. Hang on. <laughs> I hope that was Velcro. 
They've wore underpants and I'm sticking to them. That's a famous, that's a famous um, catchphrase and or saying over here. They're my underpants and I'm sticking to them. There is underpants and he's sticking to them. You know, so that's what's been happening here. Yeah, but tomorrow, Blaze is coming over. Blaze of the Blazing Chaos Band. Blazing Chaos Alcohol Band. It's Blazing Chaos, whatever. What we... And all we have to record for the finish, recording everything for the whole album we've been working on for a couple of years or so, is bass guitar and then a shaker. Kinder Egg Rice. That's it. And that's probably going to happen tomorrow. So if I get the bass guitar done during the afternoon, when Blaze gets here, all he's got to do is shake it for like you know, four and a half minutes, however long the song is, and then we go, it's a wrap! And then 20 seconds later, we're in the pub! But they say there's no reward in music anymore. Thank you for watching, good evening, um, and, oh look! Just for you connoisseurs of <laughs> disgrace lands. Tonight's beer is beer. It's a um, Shepherd Neem Spitfire. 4.5%. 4.5%. Lovely, actually. A very nice bitter. Very, very, very traditional English bitter. Made down south in Kent where they grow all the ops. Which is what makes English beer taste like English beer. So, cheers. Thank you to everyone that sent me messages and uh, has inquired as to where the hell I've been. Much appreciated and uh, I apologise for that I haven't been uh, responding to comments as I should have been in the last couple of weeks here on YouTube because, as I Enough said. <laughs> Good stuff. That's an F. Something. Can you figure out what F something that is? Put it through a poly tuner. Write in. Tell me what happens. Hopefully it will blow up everywhere. It'll be a mess. Polytuna. That could be a genetic experiment with a parrot and a fish. Worth thinking about. Kickstarter, anyone? Dave? I don't know if you heard that. He told me to 